Ma'am, am I audible? Yes, Mr. Salam, you are audible. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Professor, sorry for the little delay. Ah, yes, yes. We will start. Every day is a good day. There is something to learn and care. A very good afternoon to everyone present here. We are gathered here for national level webinar on professional communication and employability. Prayer should always be our first response to every situation. I would like to welcome Ansi Basilica and Lindsay Marifa from First BSC Physics to sing a prayer song. Shall be showers of blessing. This is the promise of love. That shall be Jesus with precious sent from the Savior Showers of blessing. Showers of blessing we need. Mercy drops down the of falling, but for the showers we need. Thank you, dear students. Next, I would like to welcome Mr. E. Shankar Narayanan, Assistant Professor of English, to give welcome address. Good afternoon to all. On behalf of English department, I'm very happy to be welcome address. First of all, I would like to welcome our uh, Honorable Secretary, Dr. B. Magendran, who gave full support and encouragement to us for conducting several programs. Welcome, you, sir. Next, I would like to welcome our Next, I would like to welcome our respected principal, Dr. N. R. Santi Mageshwari, who always walks with us and gives valuable suggestions to organize more events. Welcome you, madam. Next, I would like to welcome our beloved director of uh, self-financing uh, stream, Dr. G. Vengraslapati, who always uh, guides us to make our programs a successful one. Welcome you, sir. Next, I would like to uh, welcome our uh, resource person, Dr. A. Edwin Jivaraj, Associate Professor, Department of English and Cultural Studies. Christ deemed to be University of Bangalore, who is uh, going to speak about professional communication and employability. Welcome you, sir. Welcome, Professor. Next, I would like to uh, welcome uh, Mrs. Uh, D. Commissary. Head up, head and assistant professor of English and a self financial team who always shows a way of like here, a uh, light to us to, uh, to use. Welcome you, ma'am. Next, I would like to uh, welcome Ms. T. Joyce Muller, who is the backbone of our assistant professor of English, who is uh, the backbone of our department. Welcome you, ma'am. Next, I would like to welcome uh, Ms. P. Muthuchalwam, Assistant Professor of English, who is uh, accompanying this program. Welcome you, sir. Next, I would like to welcome the staff members from uh, our college and other colleagues. Welcome you all, professors. Then, I would like to welcome our uh, lovable students from our college and other colleagues. Once again, I welcome you all. Thank you. Thank you, Professor. Thank you for your warm welcome. Uh, next, I would like to call principal of our college, Dr. N. R. Shanti Makeshwari, 
to give felicitation address huh? oh, thank thank you selva respected secretary and beloved director and honorable chief guest dr a edwin jeevraj associate professor department of english and cultural studies christ deemed to be university bangalore and head of the department of english jais malar and other young and energetic faculty members of english department and my student friends good afternoon to all first of all i congratulate the organizers of the this national webinar on professional communications and employability i would like to express my pride to the english department of our college for language is the key to knowledge culture and civilization it represents a bridge of communications with the others english is a worldwide language it is taught in most universities hence the need to meet universal standards to master the english language consequently english language learning has become an urgent requirement to cope with the globalization and exchange culture and science between different civilizations in fact the english language department is considered as one of the leading departments not only at the level of faculty of the education but also students effort it offers the english language bachelor's program and teaches the student according to an academic plan and wide ranging curriculum of language and literature which combines comprehensiveness and depth in dealing with knowledge in all of the english language skills in order to hone the language skill of student from this stand point the department of english in the faculty of education of our college is doing is best to serve this language in terms of instructions and innovation since its foundation the department saves number of efforts in developing its program that would fit into needs of the society and the developments of science and knowledge in the world we are confident that we are going ahead in adopting a learning environment capable of preparing and qualifying graduates that is able to face the challenges innovatively and creatively so that i hope this national webinar professional communication and employability is very useful for you all and i this the, this webinar a grand success thank you thank you ma'am thank you ma'am thank you thank so you. much for your words ma'am thank you next i would like to call mrs g kameshwari head and assistant professor of department of english from self financing train to give a felicitation address thank you mr selvam reverend secretary sir and respected principal ma'am beloved uh, director sir and uh, the most respected uh, uh, today's chief guest dr edwin jeevarat sir from christ university and the organizing team faculty professors and uh, my dear students my warm and pleasant good afternoon to one and all present here gathering in the, for this national webinar before i started my presentation i should thank the organizing secretary and the team members for giving me this opportunity uh, for sharing my opinions with the students and the dignitaries today's topic is very catchy and the topic is very uh, needable for the students that is a, i can say this is the this is the package which is very needable for this generation especially in southern tamil nadu uh, the students are very very talented but they lack the skill of language that is uh, they always tell spoken english spoken english that is very they are very uh, afraid of the afraid of see me seeing this skill 
actually it is one of the skill it is not a uh, not a thing which is uh, we are uh, fear, afraid of that so what we how we learned our mother tongue in the same way we can easily learn this language so professional communication is very very important in any profession so without the english language we cannot uh, uh, surpass our career so as a uh, principal ma'am told that this is the universal language so without this we cannot surpass we cannot uh, come across uh, any professions uh, even uh, in a least profession also we should know the language of uh, reading writing and speaking this english language so it is can it is cannot be separated from our life and career so students must realize that there is no uh, possibility of uh, avoiding learning this language because so far you have learned this language as a as a part of your curriculum but nobody uh, uh, i think i hope that uh, nobody realizes that it is uh, they are studying it as a subject only no but they don't realize it is a skill we must acquire that skill to uplift our uh, career in our life so students so this topic uh, on this uh, seminar that is professional communication which is which lead us to our employability which lead us to many uh, employability opportunities so if you learn that skill you can shine anywhere without uh, anybody is a recommend so it it makes you much confidence by yourself students so it makes you much confidence it may it gives you much pride once you acquire the skill of this language you you feel yourself much pride so in tamil la sollu abina and the more and and the anubhavam anubhavichitinga abina you 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 will not give up this uh, skill that is my hope so uh, i i uh, my obligation is to the students so make use of this uh, webinar as a spark for your career to acquire the skill which is very very easy it is not difficult as you feeling okay so i wish all the best to your uh, to my dear students learn this superb skill Uh, excellent skill to your wonderful life and i i congratulate the organizing team and my dear students once again thank you for me giving this wonderful opportunity thank you thank you ma'am thank you so much for your uh, words ma'am it's really inspiration and uh, this is the time to introduce our chief guest i like to call upon mr joyce muller assistant professor of uh, english to introduce our resource person thank you professor honorable secretary sir respected principal madam uh, beloved uh, kameshwari ma'am head of the department of english self financing stream and other faculties and my dear students good afternoon everyone i am profusely overjoyed to take the opportunity to introduce our chief guest of the day Uh, Dr. A. Edwin Jeevaraj. He is currently working as an associate professor in the Department of English and Cultural Studies, School of Arts and Humanities, Christ Redeemed University, Bangalore. Earlier, he served as an assistant professor at Presidency University, Bangalore, as head of the department, as academic council member, and also a member of board of study at Adiyaman College of Engineering, Ozu. and as the guest lecturer at barviar university and arts and science college kudalur nilgiri he has done ba in english and ma in english and master of philosophy in english awarded from the college is affiliated with madurai kamaraj university he has awarded doctorate of philosophy in english from anna university chennai his research topic is autobiographies of apj abdul kalam He is author of two books entitled uh, Technical English and Workbook. 
He has published many papers in referred national and international journals, and who has done several presentations in national and international seminars and conferences. He has written chapters of few books. His publications and presentation cover the area churches, autobiographical studies, Indian writing in English, English language teaching, and Dalit literature. He has a few guest lecture to his credit too. Uh, today we are uh, really lucky to having you uh, for this uh, national webinar, sir. Uh, thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, thank you for your introduction. And uh, it's the time to refresh ourselves through the speech from our chief guest. Students, get ready to feed your brain. The session is over to you, Professor. Dr. A. Edwin Jeevaraj, Associate Professor, Department of English and Cultural Studies, Christ deemed to be University of Bangalore. Yes, Professor. Yeah. Uh, I hope I'm audible. Am I audible? Yes, Professor, you are audible. OK, thank you so much. Right. Uh, good afternoon, all. Um, uh, respected uh, Dr. P. Mahendran, uh, Secretary and uh, Chief Patron of this national webinar, um, respected uh, Dr. N. R. Shanti Makeshwari, principal and pattern of this national webinar, and Dr. G. V. Vengada Silapati, uh, director and co pattern of this uh, national webinar, uh, Joyce Miller, the convener of uh, this webinar. Um, Sankara Narayanan, uh, Muthu Selma professors, um, the members of, of this national webinar. Uh, thank you so much for me, uh, for inviting me for this uh, wonderful occasion. Uh, I hope that, and and uh, uh, I think I, I, I think it is a privilege to be as a resource person here. Right? And I, I think that, yes, I have to, uh, give you something that because I've learned a lot from the area where I belong to. And I also thank uh, um, Kamaleshwari, uh, Professor Kamaleshwari, for your wonderful, wonderful words on the impact, importance of English, right? And uh, even uh, uh, the principal, uh, Shanti Makeshwari, was also insisting the importance of English again. Uh, I mean, how much it is important for the society, kind of, right? So, uh, good, right? And uh, yes, of course, right? I, I should ap uh, appreciate um, and again accept the views of uh, Kameshwari because uh, what she told was correct because English is a language, right? It is not a gender knowledge and it is, uh, uh, we can learn English as uh, we have learned uh, the Tamil language. Right, it's a language. That's it. But at the same time, um, if you ask me, like, um, what are you going to talk? Uh, are you going to talk about how you can improve your communication skills? Um, yes, of course. Right, I will give you a gist of, uh, like, you know, ways and means through which you can, you know, we can improve our communication skills. Because I know uh, the struggles, and I know, uh, like, you know, the trauma um, a person from rural area, um, like, you know, when while acquiring the English language, when I think that I have to talk English on par with the people who got their education from international schools or is like, you know, the, uh, uh, the reputed schools, uh, I thought that it is not an achievable thing, right? But anyway, I'm on the path and I could manage myself to talk in English whatever I think, right, uh, I could articulate. And that's what the satisfaction as of now I have, right? And studying, I mean, I, I have got my education uh, from L.I. Uh, like, you know, uh, um, Tamil medium school, Nada school. And, um, and I completed my uh, UG at uh, SR Ramasamy Naivita College. Right and PG at uh, Virnagar Sandar Kumar uh, College, right. But after I come to my profession, right? Yes, I thought uh, English was very difficult and it is not 
uh, it is unachievable one but later yes of course right you know by dedication and hard work um, yes i could manage the students as of now right but my focus as of now will not be on how to develop your communication skills but rather um, as madam told that like you know your skill are important right that's why i've opted for i hope that uh, you can understand me right and uh, i'm going very slow are you able to follow me right can i get some of the responses from the students here yes professor yes yes fine right so if i if i'm going a little bit fast please uh, stop me there and again uh, this is a very vast uh, topic and i hope that it is not possible to uh, explore this area within one hour uh, but how much it is possible for me that i will give it to you right and um, yes and and what i'm going to cover today um, uh, like you know somewhere else uh, uh, students are struck up with thinking about uh, employ employability right so uh, we are living in a moment where we need to think about entrepreneurship right startup uh, because uh, many places uh, uh, people they submit themselves uh, whether uh, they are employable or not i mean in the in the process of thinking of like whether they are employable or not and even uh, the faculty members as well as the parents uh, they recognize those people who who get an employment or or who get a job uh, they were considered as uh, if they have achieved something yes fine right so uh, times uh, have gone right now uh, it is a time that we need to think about uh, like you know particularly the youth you need to think about entrepreneurship and we have lots of evidences so my first part of the presentation i will be covering up like you know uh, i will give you some of the examples uh like some stories uh, where uh, you get uh, inspired right so these are all the living examples uh, they have inspired us and uh, they thought beyond and they have uh, invented something uh, new uh, keeping the um, broader society in their mind right so some of the cases that i would like to bring to your knowledge uh, like you know in the initial part of the presentation <coughs> excuse me so later uh, i hope that like there are certain skills that you need to develop because um as uh, a representation of you i have to say you because like i also belong to the same uh, like you no know, district and uh, same place and uh, the same soil and uh, uh, after i get into uh, the profession i could identify like what the problem that i have and what are the areas that i didn't explore that become a big that become a biggest block or barrier to me and uh, sometimes like you know it uh, it uh, gave a kind of uh, wrong brand or is like a bad brand on me right so i want to highlight those uh, uh, perceptions or i would like to highlight those uh, qualities or uh, we call it as personality traits uh, uh, to you right because uh, those are all the skills that uh, you need to uh, like you know keep in your mind uh, when you are growing up because like uh, when we uh, imagine that are we going to work alone right and uh, you want to when you want to become you want to uh, remain as an individual it's not possible because you imagine that for organizing this simple uh, like you know national webinar we call it national webinar right and uh, this uh, simple national webinar you need uh, the collaboration of many people right and you need uh, uh, like you know the uh, the uh, organizer here and again uh, there are lots of planning right and lots of discussion and uh, you have many people they join together later later only they could able to achieve uh, some kind of like you know productive work right so i also would like to thank your uh, uh, ansi and uh, linsi for the wonderful uh, song right that shall be showers of blessing right yes i hope that um, let the almighty sh uh, shower uh, all his blessing on us and let us proceed right so my second part will be concentrating i mean i i will be concentrating on um, the team skills right so right uh, we are very good at uh, working as an individual but if you if you ask me to work along with a group 
I, I cannot, like I cannot co coordinate with them. I cannot cooperate with them. And I, I cannot report on time, right? I will be a, a problem creator there rather than contributing something to the team, right? So that is a, another major important personality that I would like to stress in my second part of my presentation. And apart from that, a uh, third one is that, uh, like, you know, the emotional uh, intelligence, how are you going to uh, manipulate? It's not manipulating, right? Managing your emotions. That's a major uh, challenge, which, uh, which is uh, there in front of us, right? So if you ask a question, like how much, how emotional you are, then you say one particular time that I could not control myself, right? And uh, I, even I cannot bear one, bear one word which is said against me, right? And um, yes, many an emotion, uh, many an, many uh, emotions uh, that uh, that uh, check my toleration, um, that become a challenge, right? And uh, automatically uh, they are they become the performance degraded degraders of my life, right? And uh, I lost something because of my emotions, right? So that's also another area that we need to think of because. Uh, now we are living in a world where uh, uh, emotion does matter, but at the same time, uh, more than emotion, knowledge matters, right? So when you are put into a situation where you are emotionally caught up and uh, you are emotionally outburst, uh, right? Whether uh, you are able to think at that particular time on your own, that matters a lot, right? So at that time, if you could immediately switch over to uh, your brain rather than like giving important to the emotion yes of course you can control yourself right so that's a major skill uh, which is required right as of now so i'll be concentrating like you no know, giving a few information about how to manage your emotions right uh, and at last yes of course like the the final topic will be on communication skills right i'm not going to touch up all part of the communication because um, yes, it's a vast area, right? We cannot cover up in one, uh, like, you know, go, right? Then if you ask me questions, so how are these, uh, 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 the topic that you have taken are uh, closely connected with employability? I will say that employability is not only uh, based on your communication, right? Yes, communication is uh, an aspect. Apart from that, if you have achieved or if you have traveled beyond or if you have proved yourself, who are you? Then communication is nothing. Right? You imagine the great leaders, uh, uh, if you ask them, they are able to communicate or give shape to their, to their ideas in life rather than communicating, I mean speaking, right? So communication is a supporting point. And yes, if you ask me, uh, so you want to tell that communication is not important? No, I don't say that communication is not important because we have a hell lot of things in our emotion. We have a hell lot of things in our heart and mind, but when you are about to articulate it and it won't come, you say that uh, the words are coming till here, but it is not coming after that. And uh, many times we are into problem because we don't communicate properly, right? And uh, we are, we, we, I mean, communication is a tool to handle people, to solve issues, right? So we need to equip, right? Uh, I will not say that communication is not important but other than that communication is not only speaking fluently it's it's beyond right communication has attitude in it approach in it attributes in it and many right so one who is speaking very fluently then we cannot can we consider that particular person as a very good communication no right and if the language he or she is using uh, which is filled with lots of like you know attitudes then you don't consider the people at all right that's why i i thought that like you know certain uh personality trait uh traits that you need to uh, be familiar with you you might have heard about these uh skills or personality traits uh from your teachers or uh, your parents teaching you many of the traits we are taking from our parents only because the way they talk and we admire our parents and we directly or indirectly get lots of personality traits from them, right? Genetical uh, personality traits are there, right? But you you may have that, but 
uh, I am a mediator here, right? I'm not a like you know people told that like chief guest and all. No, no, I'm I'm one among you. I'm a representation of the rural people here, right? So uh, uh, maybe like uh, uh, the path that I have traveled might have given me some kind of exposure that I would like to share with you. I'm happy to share all those uh, information with you, right? So I will take some 30 to 40 minutes, to like, you know, uh, within that particular time, how much I could possibly cover up, I will uh, cover up, right? Um, yes, right, and, and, and let me share this slide with you. This is a small introduction about me, right? About the topic I have to say, right? So three areas I will cover and let me uh, know because when once I uh, like you know present my screen, uh, I'm not uh, able to see the uh, chat box, right? So if you have questions, but give me some time and let me finish uh, like you know uh, what I have prepared to, right? Give me a second. I will share my slides. Are you able to see my screen? Yes, Professor. Yeah, just a second. I'll make it full screen. Yes. So um, I already told that what I'm going to discuss today, right? It is professional communication. Uh, it is not completely um, uh, like, you know, related with um, speaking skill or uh, we, we call it as writing skills, right? And I'm going to talk about the personality traits related with employability, right? And uh, yes, uh, as I told that, like I would like to bring you some of the stories um, uh, that will give you a kind of idea about like, you know, what is entrepreneurship, right? And um, and a few stories that will tell you, or like you know, or inspiring stories, um, and how people they work differently, they they uh, thought different, thought broadly, and how they become um, a useful human beings for others. I already told that, like you know, um, I mean, the way you approach um, justifies you who are you right so if i'm studying or if i'm working or if i'm uh, preparing myself to be employed in some of the company then i will be employed in some other company right and if i think that i'm an entrepreneur and i would like to create employment opportunity then uh, yes of course right you can create employment opportunity and if you look at the current scenario and uh, the job market, um, the government as well as the global world uh, completely insisting people to start up their own, uh, like, you know, uh, small startups, right? So, uh, and for that, what is required, right? And if you ask me a question, right, uh, uh, Ratan Tata, he says that sense of innovativeness, sense of innovativeness, I should have a sense of innovativeness uh, in me, right? I should uh, I should keep on thinking about uh, uh, something like I have to innovate, right? So innovation will will not happen just like that. All of a sudden, one day night I dream and the next day I wake up I innovate something. No, that's not the case is uh, of the innovation, right? People thought for. Uh, like you know 30 years 40 years 20 years the seed of the innovation was there and each day they pour water and they make the seed to be a plant then a tree then it gives flowers and then it gives fruits right so the regular thinking was there uh, over that sense of innovativeness many a time when we commit ourselves uh, other than innovativeness we kill that seed right and uh, i think like more than 100 uh, people are attending here at the seminar and you know who are you and you have lots of sense of innovativeness and try to look at a few innovativeness and try to think about regularly and the ways and mean, means with which you will attain that 
if you keep on thinking about it uh, sure you are going to attain it, attain it and some of the english faculty members they have uh, they 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 are teaching descartes right uh, a philosopher they may aware of this particular truth what do you think you become you think you become right uh, if you think you are a scientist yes of course you will become a scientist at one particular time but keep trying to become a scientist right you think that you are a very popular uh, uh, player then if you keep on thinking as well as you just involve yourself in like you know or uh, in that particular uh, space then you will become what you thought right so innovativeness sense of innovativeness uh, completely belong to thinking and if you ask me the question when i was studying uh, uh, my ug ba english literature at snrd college what was there in my mind and i have nothing right and i go to class at 10 o'clock and my classes gets over by 1 o'clock after 1 o'clock we will be thinking about which data we have to go and what new film is going to be released and click we are roaming and if you analyze uh, the brain uh, like my brain at that particular time it is filled with enjoyment i gave more important to my enjoyment pleasure right so like you know i couldn't uh, produce anything uh, which is useful at that particular time right and yes of course like that's a challenge uh, we have the teens i mean i mean not i should not include uh, myself uh, into the teens right when i was a teen uh, it was there right so you can ask this question uh, uh, to you too right what are you thinking what is that thinking which occupy most of your brain right then you can decide whether you are thinking is proper purpose i mean purposeful it's valid or not right so i would like to bring the two cases here uh, one is of uh, central kumar murugesan central kumar murugesan right and another one is about uh, saji vargis right so these are the two cases and again yes, yes of course like if i could add one more uh, like you know case i will add it right so well, i think like the organizer uh, can remind me if i exceed the time so that i will stop somewhere else right so uh, i want to highlight the case of uh, central kumar central kumar murugesan here he belonged to madurai and 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 i mean i have given uh, the link like youtube link here right i will share it with you when uh, sometimes like you know when uh, when the uh, like you know when i when i'm about to close the presentation right so uh, i mean it's very a very humble life uh, he had and uh, you know uh, I've, i mean uh, a few uh, uh, notable aspect that you can learn from uh, central uh, central kumar murugesan right uh, i don't know how many of you have heard about central kumar murugesan right and uh, like you know he has started this geovio uh, organization he was the he is the ceo of this geovio uh, organization and uh, a new startup by this sandil kumar and uh, like you know his major project was uh, save mom save mom in tamil we have to say amma vai kaapatrungal save mom right so that is a project and if you ask me like what is a project that he has done and what's a startup if you are very much interested to know that then you listen to me uh see um, this sentil kumar uh, like he has invented one uh, uh, device right uh, we had uh, uh, you can see uh, the slide right uh, one small uh, uh, this band is there right uh, so it is uh, which is made up of some metal and um, uh, it has a chip in it right so uh, that the pregnant mothers can view right and along with that you have a remote kind of uh, uh, like you know a uh, 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 device there right so it will be with the doctor so what did he do uh, you will be wondering about like you know his in in innovation right so actually uh, uh, he thought about uh, the mothers particularly the preg pregnant mothers who lived uh, in the rural uh, places uh, and uh, who had very limited access to uh, hospitals or very limited access to consulting the doctors uh you know or like you know the pregnancy condition right uh, in from the 6th month onwards uh 
uh, like you know the female will undergo a lot of uh, different kind of uh, what they call emotions and different kind of uh, like you know uh, body temperature and many things right and uh, they have to be monitored uh, like you know regularly right so that uh, like you know uh, uh, both the child as well as uh, the mother will be uh, like you know on safe condition so he had invented this particular uh, uh, device right where the mother can uh, wear the wristband that will be monitoring the pulse of the mother and uh, the temperature of the mother and the condition of i mean the body condition of the mother too and it will be indicating i mean sometimes like you know if the mother is under serious condition then the doctor will get uh, the information in the device that the mother is in serious condition and she has to be attended very uh, i mean immediately maybe like immediately the doctor may call the mother and again uh, give some kind of suggestion to the mother that the mother has to take what are the tablets that the mother has to avoid and what are the like you know precautions step the the mother has to take it or immediately if uh, the mother has to be uh, given attention then the doctor will travel to that particular place he or she the doctor will attend the mother so that you can save the baby as well as you can save the mom right so this is a very innovative practice as a, 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 an engineer belong to this electronics and communication uh, like you know branch he was able to come up with this in, uh, innovation can you imagine that suppose if central kumar didn't think about uh, starting uh, a device or in, in innovating a device or if he doesn't have the sense of innovativeness then imagine that this kind of device will not come into uh, existence in our tamil nadu and by a tamilian too i'm very proud of uh, proud to say uh, about uh, this innovation right and and imagine that what is his past if you ask me then his past is very like you know we, we have to say it's it's very comical on the one side but at the same time it is very tragic too right so as usual he also he also have uh, uh, some kind of like you know dream that he has to enter into some uh, like you know multiple uh, 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 what do you call it? some some kind of uh, multinational companies and he, he would like to earn uh, like you know more than six digit uh, money uh, but uh, you know two things i would like to highlight here right and i hope that it will be useful for you number one is that so he had been applying for uh, the job uh, to uh, the cities like bangalore urban areas to like bangalore or uh, chennai but his name was not shortlisted for a very long time and he was wondering like why my name uh, did not get a uh, shortlisted even for interview and he was a top scorer in his uh, college and he did his education uh, maybe like you know very uh, like you know very uh, uh, like not well reputed uh, colleges like iits and nits um, but like you know he was wondering and again he was also shocked and he had at least like you know 15 70 uh, to 80 attempts of sending uh, filling up the application filing up the application and he was waiting for uh, like you know the day where he will when he will be called for an interview so later uh, he would like to trace i mean uh, he he didn't give up but uh, rather he started to understand like right, what is the reason that my application was not shortlisted even for the interview so he inquired with the hr right you no know, like you no know, directly or indirectly and he talked with the people and he came to know that um the software companies they created a system and uh, the resume will be shortlisted based on the keywords like it, it i mean it is not shortlisted by the human beings right because you know uh, the companies like uh, uh, like you know cognizant or uh, tata or uh, like you know the the well reputed uh, ibm and uh, so many companies like the companies uh, they they will not manually shortlist the resume rather they they seek the help of machine to shortlist the the uh, shortlist the resume right so they they program the machine in such a way that uh, like you know the machine will shortlist the resume uh, which has the code words right we call it as keywords right so if the keywords or the education uh, places is from uh, uh, iits nits or some bits pilani some kind of like reputed organization it has then it will shortlist those kind of resume and uh, like you know uh, uh, it will reject all the other resume once he has identified this particular or uh, like you know strategy or the machines 
uh, programming strategy. What Sadhil Kumar had done is that he uh, just uh, rewritten the resume. He revisited uh, the resume, right? And that is where I think like he in the in the initial period he forgot to uh, mention like all the seminars and conferences that he had attended. And uh, he just like, you know, take even writing the resume a very simple way. And he thought that he can perform very well in the interview, right? But the first learning he, he, learning he got is that he has to give a, a, like, you know, keen attention to preparing the resume too. And that is where he revisited the resume. He rewritten the resume as if it will have the keywords like, you know, IITs. Sometimes like, you know, he, he participated some of the conferences in IITs and again, he, he uh, enlisted all uh, the part, all his participation in IITs, and he sent the resume. Yes, of course, to his surprises, his name was shortlisted, and he attended the interview. He cleared uh, the interview, right? So, what is the learning uh, for you? Is that like you know, uh, you can learn, right? And uh, I mean, uh, your travel with Jivian uh, College will be for uh, for three years, right? If you are going to do your UG and uh, undergraduate course right and it will be five years if you are going to do your uh, post graduation too right as of course and at the same time uh, it i mean he give a he gave a clear indication that uh, studying is not the only work for the students right so you have to split up your personality or you have to split up your responsibility in various uh, like you know uh, areas Right, somewhere is extracurricular activity, somewhere is co-curricular activity, somewhere is academy. Yes, academy 70, 80 percentage you have to target, right? And uh, on on the other hand, like you know, how did you express? I mean, where did you express your communication skills? Right? Suppose like you know, you have participated in some of the national conferences or international conferences. Yes, of course, you have. Uh, you have you are you are uh, conveying a message that I have I have thought on my own uh, thinking. And uh, I have explored, and I have I have improved my communication too, right? So apart from that, like no, uh, no, being uh, uh, being a member of uh, some of the uh, uh, organization, right? And uh, and uh, finding a space where you can you can explore your skills, uh, your skills, or you can explore your 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 uh, like you know you can exhibit your skills, right? So I mean the clear uh, point that Santil Kumar conveyed to us is. Uh, don't concentrate only on academy, right? Academy is important, but apart from that, multiple. I mean, you you are supposed to uh, exhibit your talents in multiple forums, in multiple places, right? So that's the first one. And second point that I would like to highlight here is, um, right? So another issue that he had faced, but uh, he thought that he has to he has to give a solution for it, right? So what he thought was uh, what he has faced is critical, and it's it's entirely the Indian Indianized issue, right? His uh, sister uh, who fell in love with uh, another guy, and um, the the guy did not belong to uh, his own society. So there there is of course uh, like you know. Uh, the parents uh, didn't accept that and parents denied uh, the sister's proposal to get married with uh, a guy who did not belong to their own society, right? So now uh, the parents approached uh, Santil Kumar as well as the sister approached Santil Kumar for help. As a center of uh, these two people, he has to take a decision, right? Uh, anyway, uh, he didn't deny both their uh, proposal, but at the same time, he made them to wait for a year. Uh, and he just uh, kept on thinking about an issue, but he has identified one solution, right? So when you become, when, I mean, the solution is very simple. When you become popular, when you uh, see that the girls standing on their own, uh, like, you know, uh, on their own, uh, and when they become independent, then probably, right, um, uh, I think, like you know, uh, they can go ahead, and that's a, a common um, strategy. I mean, analyzing the uh, life of uh, Sachin Tendulkar and other celebrity, he identified this will be a solution. So he asked his sister, "You have to be, you have to be a little bit popular. So uh, I will uh, help you uh, to become popular, but you need to listen to me, 
right? So this is a conversation between Senthil Murugan and uh, his sister, right? So and 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 his thirst was uh, like you know making people to uh, uh, participate in the competition, which is organized by US, right? The global level competition. As an engineer, he thought about it, and again he thought that how he can work out it. So he uh, empowered uh, his sister uh, uh, to, like, you know, identify some 20 to 30, uh, uh, like, you know, uh, girls of her own age. And uh, he gave training to his sister so that the sister also will train the her own group so that they can take part in the global competition and they will win. Yes, of course, what Sandil Kumar has planned uh, worked out very well. Um, they won in the competition and many, uh, or like you know, television channels and or many media approached Sandil Kumar's uh, sister for interview, and Sandil Kumar's sister also gave an interview uh, to them, right? And and later, uh, like you know, the parents also somewhat convinced that uh, she can uh, go for uh, her own choice, right? See, imagine about this is a huge problem, uh, like you know, with uh, Indianized system, and and uh, he was very careful about it. I mean, Sandil Kumar also agreed to that. This is a, a superstitious belief, but at the same time, he didn't uh, deny the parents, right? So why parents uh, uh, come with a lot of restriction here? Because they want their daughter to be very secure, right? And they want uh, their daughter uh, should not uh, should not be in trouble later, right? So when they have a confidence on their own daughter, right? When they become independent. Uh, yes, uh, of course, the parents will uh, agree to the words of, uh, like, you know, uh, uh, the choice of the daughter, right? So, I mean, he was very clear about it, right? And he also, he didn't support, like, you know, uh, he didn't deny the parents, he, he didn't he didn't uh, deny the proposal of uh, the daughter too, right? So, I mean, if you look at this particular case, it, it conveys a lot of uh, information to us. He empowered himself. He empowered his sister and he empowered uh, the, like, you know, a group of people. You imagine this is what the major skills are, the major, uh, like, you know, uh, component or the major personality trait is expected from everybody. Sense of innovativeness. You imagine how somebody become, uh, like, you know, the leader, right? It's a very, uh, like, you know, uh, different attitude. In two ways, you can become a leader leader right so one is uh, you make everybody zero then you become hero that's one attitude and there are 99 percent of people they follow this one i want to become like you know hero or i want to become the top so what i have to do i have to talk about others uh ill i have to uh, say that i am best and others are worst that's one kind of attitude but what sendal kumar murugesan has taken was entirely different right so he empowered and he also made other uh, empowered. Actually, what the nation at present needed for its development is not the first strategy, but the second strategy. That is where you were asked to do, uh, asked to uh, think about like you know differently. You you need to think about what unique you have, um, and how are you going to utilize that uniqueness for your purpose for your empowerment at the same time, for the, for empowering others too, right? And if you keep on, like, you know, analyzing his own story, another point you will get. What is another point you will get? Uh, yes, uh, like, you know, you think about the problem. So that is where uh, the idea of save mom has come, right? So he knows that uh, in rural places, there are many issues the women are facing. In rural, uh, like you know, places, there are many issues. Even the children are uh, facing, right? So, I mean, can I at least like you know find out a small solution that become like you know a, a problem solver for the? I mean, I mean that will solve their problem. If you think uh, in that way, I hope that uh, it is possible. And many will think that like you know the, the companies will be organized or uh, only only will be started by uh, so many people they are rich kind of no it's not uh, not like that right you think about an issue you think about uh, a solution for that yes that is where your uniqueness comes and again like you know you're going to become a like you know problem solver there 
but when you keep yourself uh, when you keep on thinking about yourself right you know what i am doing and or like you know or i am not good at uh, like you no know, speaking i am not good at um, you know, uh, uh, studies and i am not good at uh, this uh, that uh, and again like you know i have to, i lack this i lack this if you keep on thinking thinking about you then automatically you will get the negativity like you know uh, grow up in you right so when your mind is filled with complete negativity sure you are going to be a performance degrader you won't grow and you won't allow others to grow first remove this particular tag that you are worth for worth for uh, nothing right you are worth and uh, i think like you know you can achieve this kind of positiveness should generate you i hope i am attending uh, i am addressing the second year students right so that uh you have still one year in your hand and again you can uh, you can uh, like you know think beyond your uh, your your academy and uh, i hope that you will achieve something so when you achieve uh, uh, something yes you are notable that will speak for you and again no need i mean uh, it's not necessary for you to speak in front of somebody and explain you that i'm i've done this and that and all right so that will create an opportunity for you Right, that's one story, and the second one, yes, I also, uh, I think, like, you no, know, I cannot uh, go beyond the first slide, right? Um, the second one, uh, like, you know, it's a very wonderful story, right? Uh, it also, like, you know, talking about sense of innovativeness, right? It's about uh, Saji Varghese, one of my colleagues uh, who is working with me as an associate professor here, right? And uh, he belonged to Department of English. I don't know. I'm, I was like, I'm still wondering about how it is possible for. Uh, a down to earth person uh, uh, like you know uh, uh, to achieve a greater thing right so uh, he uh, his name is uh, sajiv varghese right and what was his in uh, innovation uh, if i tell you like you know you will wonder and uh, and he was also such a person like you know uh, a passionate teacher right and all the students love him very well and 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 uh, they love to attend his uh, class and they don't want to miss his class and and even the teachers that he never ever have shown any uh, kind of what they call a different uh, face to the students or to the faculty members right uh, with uh, with uh, with a smiling face or a pleasing personality he he wishes others right and um, he also like you know whenever he talks with other people and he talks uh, something innovatively uh he become uh, a real life motivator for so many students and so many faculty members and i'm one of uh, that uh, kind right i also get motivated when i when i when i uh, when i interact with him right so uh, i mean he his idea was very simple right and uh, i mean after four o'clock he won't sleep and he also thought that uh, like you know something he has to do for the society right so on the way of thinking at one particular time i heard the story from him right and he had lots of achievement and and not there to uh, like you know or to list out his achievement rather i would like to point out one or two points uh, from his uh, like you know story so that it will also inspire you right so uh, he took up uh, the waste uh, coconut leaf right and he took it he he took it up and again he was thinking uh, about like you know what Uh, with that waste uh, coconut leaf he can do right at last his continuous thinking uh, like you know yielded him some kind of fruit what is that uh, like you know uh, creating uh, or is like making uh, the straw right making the straw uh, with which we use like you know uh, to drink juice or to uh, to drink the tender coconut right so he saw that uh, like you know uh, all the uh, stall if you uh, if you go to any hotel or uh, even uh, the the seller uh, the tender coconut seller uh, you can see uh, he has the bunch of uh, uh, straw which is made up of uh, plastic right and um, and he is he was a like eco friendly man and he 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 did not want to harm uh, the nature right and, and you know how much harmful the usage of plastic is that right how much it is possible or uh, it is better for us to avoid plastics right and uh, and sometimes like you know after uh, i have talked with him i also thought that like you know some places i have to avoid using plastics too right 
So uh, uh, he thought that why can't we uh, think about creating a straw with the help of the dead leaves, right? And he he didn't harm any uh, the green uh, beautiful live leaves. He thought about like you know some leaves like you know after it uh, become uh, you know, pale, uh, right? And it it falls down. And uh, he thought about those waste, and uh, he he made a he 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 at last like you know made one straw and later he thought about like you know approaching a few bands and later um he was able to identify some of the machines uh that will produce uh like you know the straw with the help of uh the 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 coconut dead leaves right so he achieved uh you know what uh what was uh the the like you know uh, the achieve the level the achievement went and he received uh, uh like you know award from uh, the honorable our honorable president too right i you can see uh, the like you know highlighted uh, uh, uh one uh, the personality right so uh, what did he do he just uh, moved to the southern part of india and he meet the rural people right and particularly the women he met and uh, he talked to them and he he along with his team uh, give the machine and uh, train them how to uh, make that uh, coconut straw and uh, he created an employment opportunity for uh, the rural uh, women right so they were home they they were they were at home uh, uh, without any employment imagine like you know uh, in, during the covid 19 situation where uh, uh, so many people they were sent out uh, and uh, the job was very less uh, where he thought about uh, i mean he is uh, we where with his sense of innovativeness, he come with the solution where uh, the rural women uh, did not get affected because they remain in unemployed, right? So you can find out, uh, like, you know, the continuous thinking uh, yield a kind of what you call result, which not only benefit for the individual, but also for the society, for the community, right? It is empowering people and it is offering a job uh, opportunity. Right, so it is possible. Right, I I don't uh, uh, say any stories which have happened uh, uh, in some uh, U.S. Uh, or U.K. Uh, I mean, all the stories that what I have brought here uh, happened in in our southern uh, Tamil Nadu, right? And it is uh, it is acknowledged worldwide, right? So why should we people think about like always uh, like you know migrating from to some other places and again uh, 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 and again like improving ourselves? Yes, migration is required. Excuse me, my time is over. Right. No, professor. No, no. Yes, yes. Right. So you imagine uh, that uh, uh, it is necessary for you to migrate from one place to other place because you have to learn. Right. Uh, for learning, I have to travel. Unless I travel. How will I know what is the world is right? And where, then only you can find out where you are in the world, rather than uh, like you know where I am in Yalai Rampane, where I am in Kovil Patti, where I am in Sathur. No, right? Your identity is not belong to uh, Kovil Patti. I mean, it is not limited to Kovil Patti, Sathur, or Yalai Rampane. Your identity is in the world, right? So you have to travel, right? So that's a second story, right? So there also the thinking uh, made. Uh, the personality and 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 uh, like their 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 uh, worth for the society right now you can find the unemployed um, rural women right uh, working and smiling and they are uh, the important um, uh, revenue generate generating tool or revenue generating source for the family you know when the husbands are jobless and again the women they came forward and they earn and they could uh, afford uh, the needs of their home, right? So it is possible, right? So my, uh, and and one more, uh, like, you know, uh, story I would like to belong, right? So I hope that I think, like, with the story, I will finish uh, my, like, you know, uh, uh, the talk. And if it is possible sometime later, we can, we can meet because it is almost time, right? And a third uh, story is about um, Abdul Kalam, you know, Dr. ABG Abdul Kalam, uh, greatest scientist, uh, of the world and uh, the honor for India, uh, former president, uh, and uh, you know he also belonged to the rural rural uh, area, Rameshwaram, right? And he also got his education from Tamil medium, right? 
and uh, he he and and yes of course like you know if you could and you have uh, the museum of the club museum and uh, uh, the I mean in between Ramnathapuram and Rameshwaram right and it is uh, and it's 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 uh, like you know uh, every Indian have to honor him because uh, of the honor that he has brought for India right and uh, you know many a time uh, I will be uh, very proud to say that I have done my project particularly the PhD project on APJ Abdul Kalam and I have got a lot of inspiration when I read um, Wings of Fire and Autobiography and it totally changed my mindset and it totally changed my thinking right and uh, and it also totally changed my inner personality right so if you get uh, if you find time to read uh, Agni Chalavikal or Wings of Fire please get it and read it right that that is completely motivating and and, and it, it is like like you know for transforming your own inner personality you will get that kind of experience when you read uh, the poem uh, sorry when you read uh, things of an autobiography right it's an autobiography it talks about the life history of abj abdul kalam right so uh, uh, i would like to uh, bring one such incident from apj abdul kalam he was uh, in 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 uh, uh, ames hospital and uh, he was uh, waiting to meet arun k tiwari he was the co-author of, of this book Wings of an autobiography, right? So when he was waiting, uh, right? And you know, oh, this person is a, the busiest person in the world. And even uh, when he was uh, doing the morning walk, he will be thinking something because he 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 was the person who who who, who knows and who identifies, uh, like you know, uh, uh, the the effectiveness of continuous thinking, right? So he keep, he keeps on thinking, right? And uh, or else you imagine about uh, a brain which which knows uh, like you know lakhs of uh, screws uh, and like you know the places of the SLV satellite launch vehicle. Now we are witnessing the post uh, satellite uh, satellite launch vehicle, and India become one of the notable country because of um, Abdul Kalam's uh, involvement uh, in the project uh, satellite launch vehicle through. Uh, ISRO, Indian Space Research Organization, right? So when he was uh, there uh, in in Ames, he he just like noted the people. When you look at the society, yes, of course, right? Uh, it should not uh, be pointing out the problem of the society, right? So when we go on the way, right, we 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 condemn the politicians and we uh, we we uh, sometimes like you know scold the people, authorities. Right, and many a time it, it may not be notable, but right. But Abdul Kalam he used to look at the people and he look at from their perspective what problem they are facing, right? And he will try to identify the solution for the problem. So one such uh, like you know uh, incident was this one, right? So he saw a seven year old uh, polio girl who was walking in front of him, and uh, he looked at the artificial leg that uh, the girl was uh, wearing and walking, and he could feel the pain of uh, the girl right when looking at the face of uh, the girl because she was only seven years old but she has to carry at least nine kilograms of uh, the steel and uh, of uh, nine kilograms of the artificial leg which is made up of steel and uh, iron and uh, he he felt the pain of the girl and he thought that something he has to do for the girl right later he talked with Arun Ketiwari and again he identified some of the composite materials and like which, which will be having the same strength as the uh, iron and steel will be having and he produced uh, the artificial leg uh, and he fixed that artificial leg uh, to that girl uh, it was only 900 gram you imagine like you know uh, earlier the artificial leg was uh, for uh, about 9 kilogram and now it is 900 gram and uh, you you can feel uh, what kind of uh, senses or the freedom the girl will be having when she was about to take the first step right so how did it happen because uh, abdul kalam looked at the problem as his own problem and he uh, he come up with a solution for the problem now you can imagine when you move when you walk when you travel when you study you Come across a lot of prob lot of people uh, having lots of issues, having lots of problem. As a human being, fellow human being, living along with them, have you ever thought about their problem? Have you ever thought about giving a solution for that? 
you have to right and and it's like there and there because you are educated um the the only distinction like you know you have between uneducated and educated is that you can think a little bit beyond i don't degrade the the uneducated right they have the human heart right but at the same time as we educated what are we doing for those who are suffering and they are suffering in front of us right it itself says that like uh, like you know you have to do something for them right so uh, it's about like you know a sense of innovativeness you have to keep the sense of innovativeness in you right uh, i think like the second aspect is uh, like you know it's also another story by sudhamurthy and many of you know uh, uh, sudhamurthy uh, um, um, an activist a uh, writer essayist short story writer uh, and uh, a feminist and uh, give her voice uh, for the societal uh, uh, society and particularly she now works for the transgender right and uh, she gave her i mean even uh, sometimes she gave her voice for uh, like you know uh, uh, voice for discriminating the uh, transgender too right and this story uh, you can or uh, you can uh, take it from uh, the net also when you find time please read uh, the story also and i would like to quickly uh, uh, give you a few aspects that uh, sudhamurthy highlighted uh, in that particular essay um, and i will i would end the session right so it is apru grd right uh, it's about uh, like you know Uh, or uh, uh, JRD, right? Uh, Tata family, right? And uh, I mean, one incident she um, she recollect in that particular uh, essay. So, what is the incident she was talking? Uh, they uh, is nothing but uh, you imagine she was the she was the, having her education, particularly the master of uh, communication, uh, master of uh, computer science and engineering. She was doing at uh, Indian Institute of Science, IISC, right? and uh, when she was narrating she says that she was the only one girl and other are boys right and uh, you imagine 1970s uh, uh, women um, taking a post graduation was very limited right and she was the first women uh, uh, she got admission at iisc and she was doing her uh, post graduation but she had some other girls also they were uh, doing their uh, research uh, at iisc it itself says that like you know uh, i know so many of you um are first graduate you got an opportunity to have your uh, first graduate uh, i mean your first graduation education at the jvn right um i mean uh, you, you know uh, you have a lot of things to do right it says because uh, she was the first girl uh, there having her uh, master uh, uh, like you know master of computer science computer science uh, and engineering right and uh, and her life was very casual for a very long time but later at one particular time it also was kindled and it was challenged and uh, she was a little bit uh, tensed uh, when uh, she saw an advertisement uh, which was posted uh, in the notice board uh, uh, it's about uh, like you know uh, uh, campus interview you know campus interview is a very uh, like you know uh, 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 expected culture in 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 uh, urban areas right when she i mean uh, she knows that she is not going to apply for a job but and a complete um, idea was going to us and continue her doctorate there but uh, when she was reading uh, the notice board when she was going through the like you know call for a uh, 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 poster and she was completely shocked and it was mentioned that it stated that the company required young bright engineers hard working with an excellent academic background uh, you know uh, these are all the skills i would like to tell to you right you have to young right and get a job or get settled when you are young right second thing bright you have to be uh, bright in your in your in your academy right and uh, you have to think about like you know how to make yourself bright hard working right and without hard work you can't get anything you you have to tell yourself 
and you have to completely break yourself in order to take a different shape as uh, the butterfly you know uh, it breaks its own body and it evolves as a beautiful butterfly uh, by breaking the body right so uh, you need to break up your own uh, mind in order to take a new shape a new identity right uh, that will happen only uh, through hard working and smart thinking right an excellent academic background background and she was not uh, like you know uh, shocked uh, she didn't get shocked by looking at these words but what shocked her was this one at the bottom was a small line lady candidate need not apply she was completely shaken and shocked and uh, she was upset right and uh, she got uh, annoyed about this one right because it was a challenge for a complete gender right and she thought that why she 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 will she uh, what she can do in order to break up that particular like you know um uh, 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 caging uh, tendency right you know right you you should not do when i say something i'm caging you right and that's if it is for a very good purpose it's fine if i if it is not a like uh, not for the purpose rather if it is for discriminating purpose yes of course you have to raise your voice and you have to stand up and you need to prove your intellectuality so that uh, like you know your freedom is saved right so she thought that she could she could raise this gender discrimination issue until she raised this issue with uh, by writing a postcard to tata even the tata company was not aware that they have this gender discrimination uh, like you know uh, 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 strategy in their company right so she wrote uh, uh, the letter to tata and she received one one uh, uh, call for letter right and and she thought that she has to take it very lightly and very simply uh, just for fun she wrote uh, the letter but at the same time when she received the call letter and there also uh, she didn't decide that uh, she has to join the job right but uh, because the friends they she, they told that like you know from bangalore you can uh, travel to pune and get the punam sari uh, pune punam sari uh, from there whereas right uh, whether you are selected or not selected that's not that's not an issue right so she collected the money she went to pune and when she entered into the interview hall uh, excuse me she saw uh, like you know uh, a board members of uh, like you know uh, very wise and uh, like uh, elders elderly intellectuals sitting in front of uh, her and she uh, sensed that uh, something serious is going to happen and um, yes of course like you know she has to face the interview but she become a little bit arrogant she know she become nervous you imagine that many a time many a situation when you are pushed into a situation where you get nervous how are you going to manage it even sudamuthi was not able to manage her nervousness she was very rude and she she behaved arrogantly she shouted that i know that this is inter this interview is going to uh, uh, like you know be very technical right because um if it is related to administrative side and she she was 100% sure that she cannot answer all those question right so she would like to limit the interview or uh, into technical aspect but the way she ex expo exploded uh, her emotion was uh, like you know uh, not acceptable one and she also felt that that i mean in the later part of her life that she should not have behaved in such a way in an interview right so you may be sometimes uh, or like you know pushed into that kind of situation when you are emotionally upset or when you are emotionally when your emotions are like you know or under examination how are you going to deal with that right don't get annoyed right be calm and relax and uh, try to think about like you know positive things right uh, but anyway uh, 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 she also like you know felt the air of superiority she would like to prove herself who she who is she but later like you know uh, uh, like you know she was confused con convinced that 
uh, she was the first woman appearing for uh, those kind of uh, job and uh, and uh, they thought that the job can be done only by uh, uh, the male not female right and they gave all sort of explanation to uh, sudhamurti but sudhamurti told that like you know uh, somewhere else you need to start like you know uh, accommodating the women and uh, and that became a convincing answer for uh, the interview members right so they decided yes of course we didn't think about accommodating women for that particular post until now and we try right and again sudhamurti become the uh, trial piece day right and she joined the job and uh, yes of course like you know she learned a lot and later uh, i mean she joined with her husband naran murthy and started this infosys right imagine what uh, this particular story um, gives you right so two things number one is uh, one positive and one negative i would like to highlight here number one is um you are in a cage right and you know if the cage is for like you know saving you no problem but at the same time you are not for being inside the cage you have to come out and as an educate you, you have to get educated and you need to serve the society and you have something best for the society you need to give it back right and that is what even um even uh, when uh, there was a conversation between sudhamurthy and uh, tata had happened right and uh, she told that um, uh, uh, i she would like to quit the job and uh, she would like to join with narendra murthy for uh, starting infosys and uh, uh, and uh, like you know for that uh, tata replied very coolly that like you know you you have to uh, you have earned a lot from the society and have the habit of giving something to the society right so that is where like you know the complete uh, evolving of personality has taken place right so that one positive positive attitude you just keep it in yourself you're not you're, you have something and you have gained a lot of things from the society uh, in various institutions right uh, even the the institution where you study uh, it also like you know a vision of one great personality um who forewarned that some of my granddaughters and grandson will come and study here they may be the first graduate their fathers and their father and mother might not be uh, get educated but there is there is one time they will come and approach me for education imagine that how many people now how many batches of the students they have moved away from um jvn right so the vision was like you know not a uh, 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 jvn becoming popular the vision was serving the society right so the same vision we also have to take up and we need to serve the society and second thing is that try to manage your emotions right you you have many emotions right i have i have lot of slides for you right but i i don't think that i can uh, give you all those things right with this you have fear anger affection shame disgust surprise lust sadness elation love but anger is the bad advisor right don't uh, go after the anger try to manage your uh, emotions yes of course right now with this uh, i will end up my session right and i hope that in future if you could um, find time or get an opportunity to talk with yes of course we can also or this is something um, uh, i think worth thank you so much for your patience listening and uh, if you have some questions yes of course you can unmute yourself and you can ask is the students is there any query you can uh, unmute yourself and ask them i hope that they will not be having any uh, questions because it's almost time yes professor you are uh, explaining clearly that's yes. why they don't have uh, any doubts thank you thank you thank you professor thank you so much for your valuable information and uh, it's a uh, really very worth uh, thank you thank you thank you so much thank you're you. welcome yes all the best all of yes. you yes thank you professor it's the time to say what of thanks uh, 
first of all i thank you our college hummingbirds john and c basilica and john lindsay mary for to sang a prayer song and uh, next i would like to thank uh, assistant professor of english mr e uh, sankar narayanan from our college to gave a welcome address and next i would like to thank uh, our college principal dr nr shanti makeshwari uh, to gave a felicitation address and uh, uh, my sincere thanks to mrs g kameshwari head and assistant professor of english uh, self financing stream to gave the felicitation address next my sincere thanks to mr joyce muller assistant professor of english from our college to give a nice introduction about our resource person then my heartful thanks to our resource person dr a. edwin jeevaraj associate professor department of english and cultural studies thrice deemed to be university bangalore to give a, such a good presentation uh, uh, to us yes i am really thank you and uh, i thank uh, other staff members uh, from uh, my college and from other college and uh, thank you so much for my dear students and uh, students from the other college also yes i post uh, feedback form in uh, our chat box just fill it and you will get a e certificate thank you professor